Since man has had video games, he's wanted to create them, jotting down maps and school notebooks, or sharing ideas with friends. And then one day, they discover that programming is hard. The past has tried to compensate with pinball construction sets, RPG makers, and the archaic but lovable ZZT. But the Little Big Planet is set to eclipse them all, giving the tools, the network, and the pizzazz to facilitate a large microcosm of game production. But are we all ready to let our inner Miyamoto's out? LPB's story mode, which is actually fairly plotless, could be considered the single-player portion of the show. However, since Sackboys tend to travel in packs, all of the levels are playable with up to three friends. Story mode is a competent platformer, where fervent adventuring nets you extra parts for creation, as well as unlockable subgames and other themed worlds to explore. The levels always have a final goal, but in between, bosses, puzzles, and hazards loom in every corner. Secrets always seem to be just off-screen. And while this single-player portion would usually be the heart of a game, here it's a six-hour inspirational appetizer for the creation tools. Simply jump out of your pod and head on over to your own private moon to start working your magic. It's overwhelming at first, with supply templates feeling either claustrophobic or huge and empty. A seemingly endless supply of tutorials will walk you through all of the goodies, and soon you'll be bringing creations to life, setting off switches and sending rockets into the ionosphere. It will take time, patience, and lots of testing to make a level worth sharing online, but hilarious abominations can be created in minutes, and there's definitely a thrill in playing your own creations. With the ability to rewind and pause time, it's easy to mess around with the levels, or pepper your world with the spoils of the story mode. Even the most complex interactions are all funneled through real-world symbols that fall well south of C++. The final aspect is the community, where you can partake in others' creations. You can search for levels with high ratings for the quality experiences or go slumming for hidden gems. It's a simple but productive system that lets the best rise to the top and the fluff get blown back into the ether. Only time will tell if the player support will truly be there. Little Big Planet asks a lot of the player. You have to explore the level supplied to get materials, master the intricacies of the design tools, and finally, participate. It's definitely not for everyone. The story levels start innocently enough, introducing LPB's core concepts like jumping, racing, pulling, and not to play with fire. Soon enough, you'll be dealing with innovative bosses and slapping stickers to activate switches that reveal secrets. And then there's cursing the floaty jumping or the lack of logical checkpoints. But like any good platformer, the aggravation and challenge aren't without reward. Completing a level or finding that final item gives you a nice sense of accomplishment. Sackboy has taken an interesting trip into the third dimension. While it's played predominantly from a 2D perspective, you can also shift on three planes of the Z-axis. The game will attempt to auto-shift you to the best plane to grab what needs grabbing, or land on what needs to be landed on. It can be dicey. All of these story level issues exemplify the same problems that you'll deal with in creating your own levels, because anything and everything you see in story mode can be done from scratch in LPB's editor. Both the jumping and depth are brilliant compromises. The high jumps leave lots of room for error, and the side-scrolling gameplay can be understood by anyone. The core gameplay has a few issues, but there's a reason, and the supplied stages contain real, honest-to-goodness moments of brilliance. The beta has already shown shining examples of user-generated content, and we all know games are better when played with others. From the adorable emotions of the sack people to the fashion tornadoes unleashed with the randomized button, the little big planet is big on charm. The objects, textures, and assets all gel with the aesthetic of a burlap sack. The soundtrack keeps the charm flowing with a suite of seemingly innocuous music that you'll find yourself humming as you go about your day. The presentation is rounded out by a great tutorial voiced by an older British chap who sounds familiar enough to be a favorite uncle. You should be feeling very powerful and godlike, because you can literally create just about anything you blooming well want to now. It seems the Web 2.0 revolution has been televised, and in burlap no less. LPB lives up to its promise of playing, creating, and sharing. 
It's a strong 2D platformer that darts into the shadow of trouble once in a while, but it's ultimately redeemed by its daring design. You've never played another game like it. Rome wasn't built in a day, and it will take longer to make a superb level than most will want to spend. But finally, those pages of graph paper from your more optimistic days can come alive.